Hey, it's around here. In this YouTube video, I want to answer a question from one of my members in my membership. And she um, gave me some question or challenge she's experiencing and you can read it. It's right in front of me right now. And it's really interesting because um, it was such a good question. And I just like, I thought it would be really valuable to actually respond to her in a video format. And I asked for permission to also share this on YouTube. Uh, as well, so other people can benefit because you might be experiencing the same thing. This is relevant to you if you already have an audience, you know, maybe you have a Facebook group or an email list of a thousand people or more, and you're not getting as much traction as you're hoping to, basically. This is kind of the situation of my client, Karen. And by the way, just to give you context, so Karen uh, is in my membership and she actually serves women over 50 uh, to lose weight and get into better shape and so on and so forth. So if that's relevant to you as well, you're definitely welcome to check her out. Go to wellbalance.ca and learn a little bit more about her. So uh, first of all, this is one of my favorite websites that I've helped build on system. Uh, Karen had a lot of this already, kind of the content ready and stuff like that. And I just helped her make some tweaks and organize everything. And it's just a really nice website, I think. So there is a few things that I wanted to share. And I, want, I had a, a review of her uh, funnel and thing, different things as well. So just to give you context, she's saying I've had 3,000 people on my Facebook group, almost 1,900 email subscribers. Last time I promoted my weight loss program, I didn't get one person who was interested, must be doing something wrong. I send an email about once a week, don't post as often as I should, lots of client testimonials, have great success with the clients I've had, and feel so much more can be done. I have a VIP membership with 32 members, small ticket program, I'd love to grow at that as well. So um, yeah, Karen used to do high ticket um, coaching for this type of service. Now she's got a low ticket membership, uh, which is great. I love that model. And, uh, you know, I think she, you know, it's definitely a great niche to, to serve and so on. Now in terms of the Facebook group, obviously I'm not in the Facebook group, so I can't really join. There's a few little tweaks I would do. Number one, uh, the title is, is perfect, right? So I love that. I think that here in the welcome, you can do a little bit, uh, like send them to a specific funnel as well. Like put it, put a link to something. Another thing that I would do is if I was in your shoes, because you already have an audience, I mean, you got your Facebook, you've got your, um, so your, your Instagram, you got your Facebook. What I would really do is I would actually record a video and a very personal video where you're going to basically tell people a little bit about the Facebook group or how to work with you and just do a bit more of a webinar. And the webinar needs to be really casual. It's nothing fancy. It's literally a, Hey, I wanted to record a short video because you're in my Facebook group and I wanted to um, do a little tour to give you some information about how to make the most out of this group and stuff like that. And record this video like a two minutes thing, nothing crazy. Do a little tour of the Facebook group, maybe a little tour of your website on what they can also other helpful resources they might be able to get. And then also invite them to actually respond to you on Messenger and let you know a little bit about them and their journey and have they tried and stuff like that. Have they tried anything uh, for weight loss or to get back in shape or something like that, right? I think something that's going to get them engaging with you, that's the key thing because your people are there. It's obviously uh, a needed thing, right? And you've got the people already there. It's more about getting in communication with them. It's because you have so many, like 3,000 people, that's a lot of people, right? So you want to create an, a digital asset that's going to get in communication with them at mass. Now, I'm going to give you a little demo video. I'm going to pretend you're you, Karen, okay? And um, then you can kind of, if you want, you can transcribe uh, what I'm saying and then create something that's going to be relevant to you. And also, I've got a video on my channel about how to get uh, this YouTube video transcribed so you can get the transcription and, and use that. So I'm just going to pretend uh, I'm Karen. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to chop and then now I'm going to be Karen. Hey, it's Karen. Uh, I'm sending you this short video because I wanted to record a little walkthrough video uh, about my Facebook group, which is helping women over 50 with weight loss, fitness, health, and motivation. And I know you've probably been in the group uh, maybe for a little bit or for a while. Maybe you know a lot about what I do, maybe just a little bit about what I do. But I wanted to create this Facebook group to give you a resource to get different tools that are going to help you in your journey for weight loss. Now, of course, I have different services that I actually sell and offer. I have a VIP membership, 
But I wanted to give you enough resources that even if you choose to just try and do things on your own, then you can actually get the value from it. And I want to tell you about these resources first. So let me tell you about these. So first of all, if you go to my website, you're going to find different recipes. So if you click on recipes, you're going to find uh, a bunch of recipes here and a few examples. So you can uh, check these out right here. So that's number one. There is also a blog. Now the blog has a bunch of uh, different blogs that are relevant free resources to help you. So for example, the ways to hip ratio, uh, desk stretches and stuff like that. So you can click around and have a browse. I'm going to leave the link in the description and also send it to you on messenger in case you want to check it out. So that's the other thing that you can check out. Also in the Facebook group, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of the Facebook group and then you show them a little tour and that's what's available for free. Now I do know from my personal experience, my personal story that, you know, having a community to actually help make a change is really helpful because it's really difficult to do this on your own. And therefore I do have a VIP membership as well, but I wanted to, I didn't want to uh, pitch it to you. I wanted to just know a little bit more about you and your journey. If you don't mind, could you just reply to the messenger message that I sent you and just let me know a little bit about who you are on your journey. Like, have you tried some weight loss programs? Have you had any challenges with it? Um, you know, did you get disappointed? What, 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 what happened with those uh, attempts? And if you've never attempted, I would just love to know, you know, what motivated you to, uh, you know, feel like you, you want to make a change, you know, and I, I just want to get to know you on a more personal level. So if you don't mind replying to me on the messenger, I would really love to get to know you on a more personal level. And I'm looking forward to um, uh, speaking with you. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'm gonna chop the video. So this is just a really casual conversational video. Um, maybe this is something that's resonating with you. Maybe it's not how you would talk. It's okay. The point is you got a bit of a structure. Number one, obviously there might be already in your Facebook group. So let them know that they're already in your Facebook group. Um, and you know, you just wanna record, record a video to let them know how to make the use of it, make use of it. Number two, you want to show them the free, you want to give them a disclaimer that um, basically it doesn't matter if they're going to work with you or not, because obviously, you know, people get pitched for things all the time, right? So you're just going to be upfront. Look, I don't care if you work with me or not. I have free resources that are going to help you no matter what. That's number two. Just kind of put their mind at ease. Number three, show them the free resources. Number four, if they want to get to know, uh, you know, uh, work with you, that's great, but you want to get to know them for, uh, first. So. It's just like a very good, casual, non-pitch, non-slimy way. Because it is one thing I absolutely hate is when people are coming to my messenger and just pitch me, you know what I mean? Like I know we've all experienced it. Like it's okay. I, I actually prefer they pitch me versus they ask me some random questions and then pitch me later and waste my time asking me questions. So the worst thing to me is when they come and ask me questions, like tell me about your business. like dude, look at my website. You know what I mean? So that's annoying to me personally, but at least if somebody's telling me, look, I've got this service, this is what I do. I don't really care if you sign up or not. Here is, uh, I'd love to know more about you and your business. I think that's just a way better way to approach it right now. If you actually record a short video like that, then what's going to happen is that you'll actually be able to send that to your YouTube channel. Now, Let's just pretend for a second that you are not strong on YouTube. You prefer to do it in the Facebook group. That's okay. You could also do it in the Facebook group. Totally fine. And record the video and send them that specific, specific link. And you can also do the video on Instagram TV, IGTV and send it, send them there. That's more of a strategy uh, aspect uh, in terms of what you want to do. I do YouTube because I'm building my YouTube channel as well. So you can choose how you want to do it. Now, the way to automate that and make that really easy is you want to create some sort of a template message. And I'm going to pretend by sending you the message, uh, Karen. Uh, so let me just find you quickly. Okay. So I'll show you the message that I send people when they first join my Facebook group. And I would say, for example, hey, Karen, I'm just going to say, ignore this. Just 
part of my recording um, as per our email. And I'm just going to say, hey, Karen. And then I do approved one. And I click on space. Now look at this message. I say, hey, Karen, I've approved your access to Facebook to the dot com trace Facebook group. Here's a short video on how to how to get started. Or if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Otherwise, you can go ahead and join. Check out this link and give you the link to the Facebook group. See you on the inside. OK, now this is the message that I sent. Now, this message I sent to every single person who joins my Facebook group. Now, because these people have it, have maybe already been in your Facebook group, you're not going to say, hey, I approved you to be in my Facebook group. They don't need to do that. You're going to say something else. So you might say something like, um, hey, and then first name. And then you're going to say, um, I wanted to send you this quick message and short video I recorded. for you as you've been in my Facebook group. And I simply wanted to make sure you are aware of the free resources that are available to you and hopefully get to know you on a more personal level. Um, here's a short video I recorded for you. Um, feel free to reply when you get a second. And then you will link the video right here, whether it's in the Facebook group or in the YouTube channel, something like that, okay? Something simple. Now, you're not going to type this every single time. You're not going to do copy and paste. How, we, how did I do this short code? So I've got two different short codes. There's approved one. That's um, option number one. Another one I have is forward slash approved. And it does the same thing, basically. So how I did that is, let's just say you're going to take this message. You're going to go to a Chrome extension called Text Blaze, which is this one. You're going to click on New Snippet. And then you're going to paste the message here. Obviously, change that so it doesn't have this white thing, right? So don't copy and paste your messenger, basically, because that's not going to be good. It's not going to look good. Yeah, it's not going to look good. But anyway, you get the idea. Anyway, then you're going to create a short. So let's just say, call this um, a Facebook group, let's just say, or FB or whatever. Just give it a little short. And then um, messenger. Um, get to know members, let's just say, right? Now, Facebook is going to limit you to, let's say, 100 messenger a day, messages a day or whatever. Just do as many as you can and do the same thing the next day. So you can spend, record a good video, which is really good, record, uh, type up the message, create the text blaze, and then once you've done that is, uh, I'm just going to call this um, forward slash Karen, okay? And then create a snippet. And then let's do a little test. So if I was to type in forward slash Kevin, you'll see the message is going to pop up, basically. OK, so that's how you would do that. I'm just going to delete this because you don't really need that. But this is how I would do it. Now, this will give you a chance to kind of in a, in on a mass basis connect with these people, right? So this is 3,000 people. If you were to do 100 people a day, right? Then you're going to end up for the next month. You're going to spend doing that, whatever, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half hour, whatever, and just message people one by one. Okay. So that's strategy number one that I would do. And I would absolutely do something like that. Um, literally one by one. Now I'm going to show you another strategy, which is also good. It might not give you as much traction, but it's still a good one. So you're going to go to your Facebook group. And you're going to create a live event, basically. You're going to go to events. Click on create event. And 
then you're going to go through the process of creating the event. Now, because um, Karen is in my membership, I'm pretty sure I have a template. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have a template. So if you go to my virtual summit template in my members area, I actually have a template for the banner. You're going to click on online. And in this banner, I actually have a template for that, basically. Now, once you've actually created, you can actually click on invite and it will, you can actually trigger a, a message, a notification message to everybody that's in your Facebook group. I don't know if you knew that or not. Now, I actually have a tutorial on that on my YouTube channel. So I will link that somewhere uh, below this video as well. So you can check that out. Okay, so this is the tutorial. It's called Facebook Events Tutorial, How to Set Them Up. It's on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. Again, I will uh, link that for you, Karen, as well. And I'll put it in the description if you're watching this video on YouTube as well. Now, uh, what I'm going to say also is I've looked at Karen's um, emails, the newsletter she's sending, because she's saying she's sending once a week. They're actually not bad, right? Like they're actually like you do a good, good job, Karen, overall. Uh, but this is why I think the personal connection on Messenger is really important because like you said, there is something, you must be doing something wrong. Now, what I would say to you is the only change I would do in your emails is I noticed that you do like a few value emails and then a pitch email type thing. I would change your pitch email and actually not pitch. What I would do is I would do a story-based email and that story-based email is going to be a pitch. Now, I'll, I'm going to show you an example of something like that, but I just did like a few days, like two, two days ago, and I got, um, I think, 11 people or 12 people uh, paid me $20 for something for a, a pre-launch. Let me just show you the email. Okay, so this is the email that I wrote, and I said, I first heard about making money online in late 2016. I bought my first domain name around Bukaya 2016, uh, and this website will become a hub to helping millions of people. I didn't know what or how, blah, blah, blah. That's the about page that is very similar to what I originally drafted. This was before, before affiliate marketing. My first introduction was blah. Um, I, the topic was this. After the webinar, I was valued to a quote-unquote coaching call. The no money down ended up being $5,000 to work with them. And I basically go through the entire story. So you can pause the video as well and actually have a read of what I wrote. And yeah, so that's the email, okay? And then I included a PDF to work with me, basically. And then that PDF is also attached. Let me just show you the PDF. So this is the PDF. Uh, hopefully you can read it. Um, I'm definitely going to send this PDF to you, Karen. And um, yes, yeah, so you can check it out. And anyway, this is an example of something that I, I did just to obviously get some signups. And yeah, so this was a good little strategy. I got, I got a couple dozen sales and uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, dozen sales. And yeah, it was good, you know. So I would do something like that in your email. So instead of the pitch email, don't go straight into their pain points and, you know, make it more personal. Because I think the reason why somebody would work with you is because obviously you are a billboard to what it is that you do. Obviously, you're helping women over 30, uh, 50 lose weight. So you're kind of you're a, a billboard uh, for, for, for your business and what you do. Like you, obviously, people look at you and they can see like, wow, yeah, I want to I wanna look like, uh, healthy and fit when I'm over 50 as well, right? So I think a personal story is just going to do way better, right? And I'm sure you've done written personal stories in the past as well. And I think it's just going to be way better that way. Okay. Additionally, you've got different assets, which are really good here. And I would also share more of these different assets like that. Okay. Now, in terms of a, a strategy as well, you can treat these Facebook testimonials as their own individual uh, funnels. Okay. So you can create a page in your system account where you're literally going to do wellbalanced.ca forward slash Christine story, right? Or Connie Parks story or Alma Guerra story, okay? 
And all you're going to do on that system.io page, you're going to basically put a headline, you know, Alma Guerra um, story, put the video under it and below it, <coughs> you put, um, if you want to um, uh, also join uh, the membership, you can sign up here and then give them the link to join basically. Another thing is tweaking your offer and testing your offer. So I have done a ch a different types of offers where, yes, I have my membership, but at times I've done a trial, a dollar trial or something like that, or a seven-day trial or three-day trial. You can easily set that up in System.io as well. And of course, you're in my membership, you can book a call with Peter to help you set that up as well. Um, and if you're not in my membership, you can go to my pricing tutorial in System, and you can actually set up uh, something like that where you're basically going to make the pricing so it's a dollar for the first three days or five days and then it's the, the standard pricing whatever your price is i don't remember your prices but uh whatever the price is basically so that's the other thing where you could test different offers and see how they convert as well so anyway i'm giving you a bunch of ideas okay this is all about implementation i would go ahead and implement and try these out come back to me in, in a month or in two months once you've done a lot of the stuff let me know how it went and and also it's important you keep track because now you're going to do something a little bit different to what you used to before let me know like keep track of how you've got 32 members now great let's see if we can double that okay um or or not we'll see what happens right it's all about testing so try these little strategies hopefully uh you find it helpful and hopefully other people watching this might find it helpful as well and uh yeah i really appreciate you being a member and um uh, this is just a, such a good question. Like this is such a common and and relevant challenge, and I'm really hoping that this um, provided value not just for you but for other people as well. So thanks for sending this question through, and uh, giving me permission to share this on YouTube. And uh, yeah, good luck and keep me posted. Cheers.